Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and it's well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical mother trucking things that you do to me so well here at Tally Stero. So, I'm going to slap down as you will leave what this. See? We got little Bailiff Lulu. He's sleeping. Yeah, little sweet Bailiff. Ah, oh, so good in the neighborhood, my beautiful Pisces. Mm -hmm. So you know what time it is, baby cakes. Wink, wink. <laughs> Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. Dong, presiding. You can all do whatever the heck you want. We're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy might be coming towards you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and we're going to quit that shit together. And then we're going to go take a nap. I feel like a nap is in order today. I'm kind of feeling tired. And um, I'm washing blankets. And I'm going to put them in the dryer. And I'm going to dry them. And then when they come out, I'm going to wrap warm blankets around my body. My bones are already hurting, and it isn't even winter yet. Yeah, I know. Ugh, growing pains. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. Ace of Pentacles, okay. All right, all right, all right. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. King Cups. Oh, my goodness, Pisces. <laughs> Show me the energy of the person. My beautiful. Okay. Oh, boy. Let me uh, check this out here before. Okay. All right, Pisces. Oh, the sun. Can you feel the sun? I can feel the sun. Down on the table, I've got the Ace of Pentacles. I've got the King Cups. I have got the uh, Sun card, and I have got the Strength card. The overall energy for the reading is the Chariot. So um, somebody here might need to travel to see you, or maybe your person is buying a new car here. Whatever it is, the Chariot moves forward, okay? Ace of Pentacles, okay? The Ace of Pentacles, it's a slow-moving energy because it usually is about buying a house here, buying something big. It could be buying a car. I know I already said car once. Maybe this person literally is buying a car. I don't know. I'm saying cars, cars for a reason today. I don't know. My back's itching too. Oh, uh, but um, yeah. So basically, this is all about reaching a goal here, or it's about you know, um, you know, their, this person's prosperity here, or you know, attracting you know what they need here. Okay. I don't know. King of Cups, though. We got the King of Cups. He's very intellectual. Um, he uses common sense when it comes to navigating his emotions here. All right. It's not that he doesn't have love. It's just that he tries to be on the practical side of love and not get so swept away, like in the current, right? He see, he's not, he's putting one foot in the water and he's got one foot here on something that's keeping him grounded here. So this is all about using your common sense and not getting swept away in your emotions, okay? King of Cups gets a bad rap here, okay? And, and we need to change that for the poor King of Cups. <laughs> We've got the sun card down here on the table. This is the life force. This is the most happiest card in the deck of tarot. It gives full illumination here, okay? There's a lot of growth, warmth, vibrant energy. It's great energy. The sun energy is great energy to have. I mean, literally. The strength card. It's all about having the cojones, the willpower, being courageous enough to do something here, okay? So what does your person need to be courageous enough to do here with the strength? What do they need to be courageous enough to do with the strength? Go after what it is that they want. 
Okay, that's what they need to do. And now, because they have not gone after what they want, this person is now having a tower moment. So basically, this is telling me that this person didn't have, they didn't have enough strength to go after what they want. And now because they had an opportunity here to go after their desires, now the towers come in here. It shook this person's world apart here. So what's this tower all about in Pisces person's energy, please? What's this tower about in Pisces person's energy? Well, now this tower's happened. Now they're very confused here, okay? Now that this tower has happened here, it's caused nothing but confusion here for this person here. Oh, my God, Pisces. <laughs> and now because... Okay, there's this person is so confused. There's a time of perseverance here, of patience here. So now this person feels like they need to wait. And they need to be cautious because they don't want to be caught off guard here. Okay, so basically this person is planning right now their next action here. All right. And they're very well aware of what's happening here, though, okay? So what is their next course of action that they're planning with the Nine of Wands? Okay, there they go. Here they come. Here they come. On the horsey, here's your Knight of Pentacles here. All right, so they're coming towards you here. What's So what is their next action here with this Knight of Pentacles energy? What is this person's next action with the Knight of Pentacles energy? All right. Coming in with a love offer that is capable here of sweeping you off your feet. That is what this means in this deck. This is a romantic love offer that will sweep you away here. Oh, my God, Pisces. Take me away, Calgon, right? All right, we're having a Calgon moment now. <laughs> Man, I think I might need some headache medicine today, too. Good Lord, have mercy. All right, so... King Cups. Why is this King Cups here? King Cups is here because this person feels a strong, strong, strong connection to you, Pisces. It is literally the Two of Cups might as well be the lover's card for me. All right. This is a very, very strong connection. There's a strong attraction here. Okay. Oh, boy, Pisces. And I feel like... You guys have shared some some sediments here, okay? But there, this King of Cups has got some real feelings here, romantic feelings, and they got a strong sensual attraction to you. So why is the King of Cups here with the Two of Cups? I know why. King of Cups is shit. If you aren't married to this person already, Pisces, this person is looking at you like you're the end all be all baby. Mm -hmm. You're the end all be all for this guy right here. All right. And I'm saying guy because depicted on the card is the king of cups. Okay. Everybody's going to be like, is that a guy? no, it's a guy on the card. Damn it. Quit arguing with me. <laughs> oh, the card. Do not argue with the defense attorney for Pisces, please. Thank you, Judge. Finally, she sticks up for me. That's happened like five times in over a year. Thank you, Judge. All right. So what is this illumination here with the sun? Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Talk about life force. Talk about life force here, Pisces. King of Wands with the sun. That is fire on fire. This person is on fire for you. They are, literally. Why are they so on fire for Pisces? Please, let's go. Why are they so on fire for Pisces here? Hmm? Ouch. Why are they so on fire for Pisces today? Okay. Okay, because they're waiting for something. What the hell are they waiting for? They're waiting to put down their burdens here. Okay, so, okay, and what's their burden about? Ouch. 
ouch, 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 ouch. Okay. So it seems like this person here is waiting for their burdens to be released here. They're exhausted right now. And maybe that's why I feel like I need to take a nap because this person needs to take a nap too. Maybe like a couple naps here. But they're waiting to put down their burdens because they want to go do something with you. So if they're overworked right now, once the work slows down, this person's going to ask you to go somewhere with them. They are. They literally are. I'm reading it in the cards. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Why are you here, baby? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Okay. There's some Nine of Swords here. Oh, shit. What's going on with the Ace of Pentacles to the Nine of Swords? Ace of Pentacles to the Nine of Swords, please. Ace of Pentacles to the Nine of Swords. Let's go. Okay. Shit. Did I get this in another reading? Not this, but I feel like this literally came out the other day here. So this person has got a lot of worry here, okay, that something might change here is what's coming through here. They're not sleeping very well here. Okay, so what are they worried that's going to change with this death card? What are they worried about this Ace of Pentacles so badly here with this death? Why are they worried so badly about this Ace of Pentacles with the death card here? Okay. Shit. It's just the fear of the unknown here. They feel this. They want this. Okay. They have a lot of anxiety, though, when it comes to offering something so huge to somebody. Because I feel like this person has never offered anybody anything like this. Okay. And with this death card here, this per with this moon card, this person is worried here that, th that you might not accept this pentacle. Really? I don't know what this pentacle is going to be. I don't know. It could be anything here, but it's going to be big. But they're worried here that you aren't going to accept this pentacle. So why are they so worried that Pisces is not going to accept this pentacle? Because it's going to change your life. It's going to be bring big change. And how is this going to bring big change to Pisces' life? How is this going to bring big change to Pisces' life, please? How is this going to bring big change to Pisces' life? Sure. Yeah. Yep. You're going to have to... What this is going to do... This is going to be... Pisces, this is going to be a huge change. This person's going to offer you... There's that chariot back on top. And yes, this deck's been shuffled 30 million times. So this is going to bring a big change to your life. And what's going to happen out of this change is there's some things here that you're going to have to leave behind here with judgment, okay? You're going to have to leave something behind with judgment here in order to heal. And you're, and you're supposed to heal with this person, okay? This is what's supposed to happen. So it's like they're worried, yeah, because they know this is going to change your life. You're going to have to leave... Something behind. I don't know what it is. You're going to know your own story. But whatever you leave behind, Pisces, rest assured that this is going to be a beautiful thing here with this temperance card in this particular deck. So change is, change is about around the corner here, Pisces. Wow. This is a pretty powerful reading, dudes. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to close it off with the uh, white sage here and get the final messages and see what else this person wants to tell you. This is going to be huge change, Pisces. Yep, this person wants to go somewhere with you here. Yep, this person's waiting to put down the workload here. Something big's going to happen, Pisces. You got that Ace of Pentacles. Something big's going to happen. This is a big, big energy. I don't ever get this. Uh, I'm feeling this. I'm really, this is something huge. So, Pisces, Carol's adjourned. I love you.